All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the July Q&A. I didn't do one in June, and I'm sorry about that, but I am doing one in July. So let's see what some of your guys' questions are, and uh, let's answer them to the best of my ability. Welcome to the Madhouse. <laughs> what time they vote? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are going to be starting the Q&A this time around on Twitter where I asked you guys, I'm doing a Q&A, so tweet me some of your questions. Uh, of course, I had two people that uh, responded to that on Twitter, so thank you for those two people who responded to it. So I'm going to read some of their questions coming from uh, at NeverReadyTam, which is, of course, my girlfriend. She asked, number one, what is, the, what is at the top of your bucket list? Um, I would love to go to Disney World, uh, Universal Orlando for sure kind of visit a lot of the theme parks around in America, um, see the big four, I just need one more band to see the big four, uh, I've already seen Metallica, Slayer, and Anthrax, I just need Megadeth, and uh, go to as many concerts as possible, probably, <laughs> uh, when are you going to, when are we going to Orlando, uh, whenever we get money, um, probably not this year, but pretty soon. I want to make a trip out there for Horror Nights, just to check out their Horror Nights and stuff like that. One thing you like about us, um, the little memories that we make together as far as whether it's us going to the movies, just hanging out in general, uh, going to theme parks and stuff like that, that's always fun. Uh, favorite theme park, it has to be probably Disneyland, but it's tied with Universal Studios as well. I like Disneyland because it's a very big park, two parks, so... Uh, that's fun, but uh, I also like Universal Studio because uh, I have a lot of fond memories there, and I love I just love the studio tour. Um, sometimes I like how small it is, and of course they do Halloween Horror Nights every year, so yeah. Um, this next question is from my, uh, one of my coworkers, actually. His name's uh, Robert Lopez, and he asks, Favorite ride at Disneyland? That would probably be right now the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Um, that's one of my favorites after riding it. I like it a lot. Um, favorite ride or show at Universal Studios? So with Universal Studios, I actually have two favorites. Um, Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World was one of my favorites. Um, and I love the studio tour. Those are some of my two favorites. Uh, for going shows, I miss Terminator. Uh, Terminator the show was awesome, so I'm going to say that was my favorite show. Uh, top three horror movies. So number one, obviously, is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Two is going to be Halloween. And I want to say three is going to be The Shining. Um, top three comic book movies. Top three comic book movies. All right. I'm going to say Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man Homecoming, and Avengers Infinity War. Those are my top three right now. Uh, a favorite place to eat. My favorite place to eat is probably going to be... I'm going to say Olive Garden. I'm a, big, I'm a big sucker for Olive Garden Italian food, so yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So that does it for, of course, the... Twitter portion of the video, we are going to go over to Instagram where I did ask the same question that I am doing a Q&A video and I wanted to get some of your guys' questions uh, and this is what you guys sent me. The first question comes from Ryan Secret STT. Are you open to collabs with other channels? Of course I am. Actually, we are doing Summer of Guests this summer with the Mindless Horror Podcast. We've had so many guests on so far. Um, well, we've had a couple guests on so far. We've had um, Fosto, Pebbles, we've had SoCal Explorer, and we had Eddie Samet. We still have a long list of guests coming on later on in the future. We're going to have uh, Lost TV, um, Kim and Cat Stay Alive maybe, Theme Park Pass is coming on the channel, um, uh, Fractured Compass Productions are going to be on the channel, um, TLAV is coming on later pretty soon and uh, John Mazzari the um, composer from Killer Clowns from Outer Space we're supposed to be having him pretty soon so we have a pretty stacked summer for collabs and I'm always open to more uh, introducing uh, more channels and stuff like that just to check them out um, this next one comes from the Brick Monster and he says have you ever been to a really amazing haunt and if so what made it that good um, so yeah I, I would say last year's Horror Made here was uh, probably my favorite haunt out of 2018 at least um, and that's because due to the fact that they were very interactive at that haunt and I really enjoyed the interactiveness that they, they displayed with the guest. Um, I really like when a theme park or someone goes interactive with you because it honestly brings it more to life in my opinion and it makes you kind of involved, puts you in the scenario of like a movie or whatever that they're, they're trying to bring to life. It really puts you into that scenario and I really like when people go interactive so it was cool to do that. Um, this one comes from Spidey Kush. 
and he says, what comic books are you reading now and what's your schedule going to be like for haunt season? Uh, some comic books I'm reading right now, I'm reading a graphic novel called The Boys. That's actually going to be an Amazon Prime um, original show coming to, uh, of course, Amazon. Uh, it's a really good graphic novel. It's actually supposed to be like kind of like a parody off the of Justice League and like the X-Men and teams like that. But it's a more graphic, darker version of it. And uh, it's a really good graphic novel and I'm reading it right now. Um, another series I'm reading is uh, Doomsday Clock from DC Comics was good. Um, Old Man Quill, that's a series that Marvel's doing right now that's really good. Um, but yeah, those are kind of like the three things I'm reading right now. Um, the Batman series and the de de Detective Comics I'm reading right now. Venom and Punisher. Um, those are some of the series that I'm reading right now. And my schedule for haunt season. So we're going to try to hit a lot of the majority of the haunts this year. We're going to hit, of course, HHN. We're going to get the Frequent Fear Pass, so we'll be there a couple nights of the uh, season this year. We'll be there opening night for, uh, of course, opening night just to check it out and stuff. So if you catch us around, go ahead and say hi and stuff. We'll take pictures and stuff like that or just hang out. So we'll be there opening night for sure. As for the rest of the season, I have to see when I get my Frequent Fear Pass of what days we'll be going. But um, yeah, so we're going to be going quite a lot. We also want to check out the Queen Mary. We've never been there. Um, it's not scary farm. That's that's something I do every year as well. And maybe Haunted Hayride. I don't know yet. Um, Horror Made here is not going to be here this year, sadly. Um, so we won't be doing that. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what it's looking like. As the dates come out for the events, I'll probably start planning and buying tickets according to what I can get. So just look out for that. Also, we'll be at Midsummer Scream this year and most likely Scare LA. Uh, Midsummer Scream is confirmed. I will be there. Um, we're going to be doing three podcasts from Midsummer Scream. So that's going to be fun. Um, Robert, again, my coworker, he asks, all-time favorite maze at HHN. Um, so I have, so far, I had a couple of uh, favorite mazes. I'm going to give you my top three uh, favorite mazes. So number three is going to go to Black Sabbath 3D. That was a really, really awesome maze. Just bringing the music of Black Sabbath to life was awesome. Um, number two is going to go to The Exorcist because I really liked how they brought that movie that scared the crap out of me for the longest of life and I enjoyed it. And number one is going to go to The Shining because that's another movie that they brought to life with, which I really enjoy and I, I, I'm so, I was so hyped when they brought it over. So. Um, and the last one's going to go of course to my girlfriend and she goes, if you can have one person on the Mindless Horror podcast uh, as far as a guest, who would you want? Um, so... I'm hoping I hit it off good with uh, John Mazzari, the, um, of course, composer from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, because another guest I would love to have is, on top of John Mazzari, is uh, the whole um, directors of Killer Clowns from Outer Space, because I would love to see uh, their point of view of what they thought of filming the movie and what it was like filming it and plans for sequels, what they thought about the Orlando event last year. Um, just something I want to talk to them about and stuff like that. Just digging their minds as to uh, a lot of behind the scenes of the movie. They, they probably never told anyone or um, we're getting more of an insight of. So that'd be really cool. And that is going to do it for July's Q&A, guys. If you guys want to be part of this Q&A, make sure to follow us on social media. Twitter at Knights of Horror and Instagram at The Knights of Horror. I will be putting up uh, tweets on my Twitter uh, asking for questions. And on my Instagram, I'll put it on my story. So be sure to look out on my story as to when I post them. I usually try to do it in the beginning of the month so I can get it out there for the month and stuff like that. So thanks guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.